Arnie, uh, what was your feeling uh, after being invited to Vancouver for the CPGA Championship? Well, Richard, I uh, look forward to coming to Vancouver I, uh, with a great interest. I remembered being here before and uh, look forward to coming back and seeing the country and maybe even doing a little salmon fishing, which uh, I'm really not much of a fisherman, but I enjoy going out and occasionally catching a fish. And uh, so I look forward to that. And, and I look forward to coming and playing in this tournament and hoping that maybe we could help the Canadian PGA accomplish what they're trying to accomplish. Wasn't your first tournament win in Canada, and where was it, and do you remember it? Oh, yes, I remember it quite well. It was the Canadian Open in 1955, and uh, other than possibly the major championships that uh, I won, such as the Open or the Masters or uh, the Amateur, something like that, I think that was probably... Uh, uh, the most important single tournament that I've ever won, maybe even more important than the others since it was first. Where was it? It was in Toronto at uh, Weston. Okay, uh, what do you think of the course here and uh, the competitors that have come here, and who do you think will give you the biggest problem? Well, I think the field is pretty good, and there are a lot of good players here uh, from Roberto De Vincenzo, Lanny Watkins, Feldo, gee, they just go on naming a, a whole line of them. Uh, I think Watkins is one that you really have to look out for, and uh, probably Feldo, De Vincenzo, and I'm just not sure who all the uh, guys are. I'm sure there are quite a few, and they're good players. In the last three or four years, you haven't been as active as you were. Uh, what are the reasons for that? Well, I'm involved in business now. I've got uh, numerous businesses that are taking time, and uh, that is going to continue to some degree, although I enjoy playing golf so much, I'm still going to play for a while. I have no intentions of quitting. Do you consider golf uh, more as an enjoyment now than you used to? Well, of course, the game is more enjoyable when you're winning and playing well, and uh, that's important. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it even though I haven't won uh, uh, a great deal lately, and I enjoy the competition. Uh, I'm going to continue to do that, and I... Uh, well, it, it would be more enjoyable if I'd start winning. What about your game itself? Uh, where do you think that's suffering? Do you think you're uh, losing in any particular part of the game? Well, I think my short game is uh, far from what I'd like it to be, and I think that if I ever got that uh, back on the track uh, that I'd like to have it on, I think there's a chance that uh, maybe I can start winning again. Is that coming from lack of play, do you think, or uh, is it coming maybe because you've been playing for so long, or what do you think it is? Well, I think it's a combination of things. One, it's uh, the fact that I uh, don't play as much. I don't work just on golf now. I work on other things, too. I think my eye situation probably has had a little to do with that, just seeing and being able to see and have the feel of sight uh, that I used to have has something to do with it. Uh, the fact that I'm a little older probably has something to do with it, but all of these things uh, could influence it a little. I'm working to try to uh, get them all out of my mind and go ahead and just play. After this tournament, do you have plans to go in any other tournaments this year? Well, I'm uh, probably going to play next week, as a matter of fact. I uh, really hadn't planned on it, but it looks like right now I'll go back and play the World Open at Pinehurst. What about uh, future tournaments in 78? Well, uh, I have no heavy schedule. I'm going to play uh, in Japan. I'm going to play a tournament there, and I'm going to play a tournament in New Zealand before the end of the year. Uh, my immediate plans, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much. Thank you.